Poland is on its way to becoming the uh, full-time host for NATO's heavy weapons. The country's defense minister has announced Warsaw is officially discussing arms deployment with the Pentagon. In fact, here's what Poland may be welcoming if indeed the talks are successful. But Poland might just be the first state on NATO's list. On this map here, you get the scale of the alliance's plans to expand its military presence in Eastern Europe. And recently, the Baltic region has become an almost 24-7 playground for NATO troops. Well, all of this has uh, left quite a few people uh, worried and irritated, especially the locals, uh, with some even seeing one more reason to dismantle NATO. Others point out that there's uh, no way the U.S. hardware would be used to defend America itself. And, of course, the plans have evoked memories of the Cold War for some. Tom Robinson from the international news agency uh, Presenza explains why it is particularly tough to voice opposition to NATO's military ambitions. The media in... The Czech Republic and in other countries like Poland is heavily dominated by the news that comes from the USA. So any opposition is quite muted and that the government is able to counter all of these demonstrations, these protests, with the information that is being fed to them by, by the US military, by the NATO, uh, by the NATO leaders. I think the USA would dearly love to move to a Cold War situation. Uh, which helps them to justify all of their surveillance and all of their military expenditure and the reduction of rights. 